What's good, Ghost Gang? This your boy, Ghost Fighter, two T's. And y'all know I'm back with another informative video for you guys. Today, I got a treat for you guys. I'm so excited. So you're gonna just have to watch this video from beginning to end. Um, I got a real treat for you guys. You already seen it by the name and the title, and we're gonna get right onto it. We got that, that M440i, fully loaded, uh, two-door coupe, and I'm blown away by the things that I've seen that this car can do already. Um, uh, I'm gonna give a big shout out to my, my father who was a veteran who just passed away uh, uh, on the 19th. And uh, and uh, I just like to, oh yeah, he, oh, he hit the button. Um, I just like to give a shout out to my dad for all the service and the time that he put in while he was here. He definitely will be missed. You guys make sure you hit me with a sub, like, and a comment. And uh, we're gonna get right on into the video. Here we go. All right, so what's good, Ghost Gang? Here we are. Look at the lights folding away, man. Here we are, man. You guys wanted a video for me of, uh, you know, a new car. So here you had the 2021 M440i V8 all wheel drive. And you can just see all the things that this car has. Look at the exhaust. Look at that, man. I had to bring y'all. Y'all wanted a video, so I got you one now. Y'all wanted one of a of a new whip, and it got the it got about four different packages up here. And you see the brake rotors are so huge, and it got the M4 brake calipers. You see, it got the 19 inch wheels, and I got a paper inside that'll show all what this package comes with. And you see, for this year. They kind of changed it a little bit. They just kind of put this slit here. It isn't really uh, indefinite like the 2018 version that I saw. But you can see it has the front big brake calipers. Your lights will look at you. See the lights? The lights will look at you. Dude, bro, this is the coldest front end I've seen on a BMW, bro. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? That is crazy. That is insane, bro. I hope you guys are liking the exterior. And I'll try to get a swooping look too. You see how that hood has that swooping look to it? And it comes up and bows up. The windows fold in when you get out of the vehicle. Look, and they'll open back up on you and the lights will flicker at you. <laughs> She's tough, man. And then it has the sunroof. There's the sunroof and it has the little shark fin. Everybody want a shark fin on their car, bro. That was one of the things that you wanted on your vehicle when you were growing up. You see it has the little scoop on the back. And if it was me, I would get something at the market that has a scoop that, that comes up off and comes out. Oh man, that would be, that's one thing about cars, I've always been good at uh, hooking cars up. But that is the exterior of the car, man. Um, it's, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of blown away by that front bumper. That front bumper is something that I don't think BMW ever tried before. With the big bump front bumper, it reminds me of uh, the Genesis series. They're, they're very notorious for making those really aggressive front ends. When you see it coming down the road, you can see it got the gas tank there. You see the, the lights. See that exhaust. I mean, man, I, I'm in, I, I fell in love. I haven't even spent that much time with the car. Um, one of my uh, best friends, he uh, he was able to uh, get this ride, and I'm just appreciative to just be able to do a review. Dude, you see what it's doing when I open the car door? It done cut all the lights. Told me what's in here and everything. That's crazy. Look at the seat. Look at those seats, bro. You can't tell me this thing ain't top of the line, bro. It got the purple, got the purple haze on the doors, on the, the latches and everything. And when I come back, with well, the next part of the video, I'll do a review on the, um, on the interior of the, deep, on the, on the interior of it. Let's see if I can. And you pull it twice. They're doing this thing now where it's a locking mechanism, where if you pull it twice, it'll uh, do the hood. So then you come around here and you don't even have, when it does the double unlock, you, you, there is nothing to grab. You just pull up 
in the front and it'll come up. And you see it's sporting that twin turbo inline V6. I have the paperwork on the inside to kind of show you what all it does as far as power, power making and everything. And you know BMW, they don't really let you see what's under the hood like that. <laughs> so don't expect to see no intakes and all that stuff because you know that will here I think that's one intake right there and uh the other ones uh probably underneath it. They have it going off. The turbos are right off of it. But BMW make you come to their shop if you want to get some service done. That's just how they rock. And when you put it down, you just kind of give some thumb pressure and it'll close back up, bro. I mean, I, I don't even know what all I could tell you because this is my first time ever experiencing this car and what this car can do. Uh, my friend has more knowledge about it than I do. So he'll be kind of helping me along on the inside of the, the video for the stuff on the inside so you can kind of see what all it does. But that is the outside of it. I, I'm amazed by what they've done with this model in this year. It comes with some... Uh, some nice uh, Bridgestone tires, man. The ride comfortability is really nice. I enjoyed it the time that I have been in it. Um, and we'll get on into the inside of it, man. I'll make it short and sweet, so you guys don't see, have to sit through a long video, but you guys did get to see the outside of it. If you're thinking of getting one of these, you already got my, dude, just the way that the, the car reminds me of the G35, the way that the package sits, and it has these bolstered hips with this nice back bumper, man. And, and it's just, it's insane, man. It's insane. I'm so excited. Um, You guys, make sure you stay tuned to the next part of the video. I'm out. All right, guys. So what you guys all been waiting for, the inside of it, dude, just the way that they did the material in here, you can see the dash. It is insane. It gives you all the information that you would ever need on the inside of the vehicle. It's, it's immaculate. I really don't even know what to say because I've done so many car reviews and I know when I'm sitting inside of something that is well-crafted, well-made, and you can see it has a heads-up display and only the driver can see the speed on it. So we're going to start it up and hopefully this video in 4K, 60 frames per second, will give some uh, justice to the way that the sound of the car sounds. And then we'll just cut it, we'll, we'll just leave it running and not mess with it and let you see what all the dials and everything does. But, um, so here we go. So foot on the pedal, right? Yep. So here we go, y'all. <laughs> and I'll let you guys hear it on the outside too as well. I listen to it. <laughs> Oh yeah, she official, y'all. She is official. So all you guys that been wanting me to do a car review, here you have it, the M440i, fully loaded, inline, twin turbo, all the bells and whistles. I would let you hear the sound system, but I'm not gonna do that today because I wanna get paid for my video. And But the sound system, take my word for it. You can see it has the harmony. You see it over here, you can see that. It's the fully loaded package. It has a sunroof. It has the, the seats. You see the seats? They're plush. Look at the back seats. If you have a, it, it's a, it's really a four seater. I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with getting three people in the back, but uh, you might want to be careful that you don't get a ticket. And look, if you can barely see it, but if you look right here, you can see it shows the mile speed. It shows the uh, speed limit and it shows the mile power you're going. It's really nice. I don't know why the camera doesn't really pick it up. It's kind of weird, but you can see it. You can see that it shows the speed limit, 25, and it shows the mile per hour. That's that's pretty sick. But I mean, it has all kinds of bells and whistles here, and I would have to come and do a more up-to-date video because I know some people are gonna go more in detail with certain things, but I know when I'm seeing luxury, you can see they have the, down here in the door, I open the door up, you can see I have a place for you to stick your, your drinks. And it isn't for regular drinks like you get at maybe McDonald's. It's for like if you got a soda you want to stick in there. You can stick your soda in there. And then right here in the middle, I have my toggle sitting here that I used to record, but I didn't need it today. But you can see I could sit the phone right in there and it would start charging if I had my phone linked to this. 
all your reverse and forward and what it's it, and it's all wireless charging you don't have to do anything once you link it to the bluetooth i'm pretty sure everything in this car is all bluetooth and it even has a speed limit down there you see right here it shows the speed limit here where we're at on the uh on the current location that we're at um you know you guys uh it, you see it even shows that we're in mechanicsburg there we go and then you know then it has like the little volume clusters and everything like that and i just like the the design that they went with with the speakers with the way that they did everything's tight you see it's tightly knitted you see it has all the stitching all the knobs everything has so much detail man it's just an amazing vehicle um i'm very excited now this is something that i want to show you um when you get in and you cut the car on arms come out at you like transformer and once i put this belt on this is one of the features i wanted to show you once you put the belt on and click it into place it will go back into place that is the coolest thing that i have seen and because i'm already recording this video and i don't have to do much editing i'll just turn myself around and let you see me i appreciate you guys and i go ahead ghost gang so finally my buddy uh we had the last part of the video uh i didn't know how long i'll make the video and how i was gonna do it so we're gonna start it up and we're gonna drive it for the first time Woo! <laughs> yeah she crackling and popping all right so in this car it's a little bit different the pedal shifters are here but you also have to take it out of park so you have to hold the button down and push it down and it'll go straight to D and then you'll see it here on the dash and then you're ready to go. So we're gonna do sport mode. So now you'll see a heads up this way. You can kind of show them over here. It's in sport mode, dynamic settings. So now we, we ready. And you guys can't really uh, see it, but it has a spe the speed uh, and the miles per hour, like I said earlier, so. Heads up. Woo, that thing sound nice. So this got pedals, so. I'm pretty sure we're in one now, right, Rob? What does it show that you're in one? Because we're in dry. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now we're in S1. We're in manual S1 then. You just tap it to the left. Man, this steering wheel feels crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. My signal on. The headlights should already be on, right, Rob? Yeah, they're yeah, already, already on. Right. But you defrost on your windows, though. But okay. Right oh, here. this right here. Right. Your rear, the frost. See the rear to the left. To the left. This right here. Oh, this one. You got it. You got it. Oh man! And then he says it has a heated stern wheel. So stern wheel is heating is activated. <laughs> Y'all here? Just letting you know right now, this right here will be my next. This 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 right here is crazy. Cause I thought my G35 was fast. This thing's all-wheel drive. I know it's over 400 horsepower without even looking at the stuff in there. It got the heated seats, and now I'm in. <laughs> Yo, as a car enthusiast. This is crazy, bro. And I can imagine this around, going maybe around some mountains or somewhere. The power is unlimited. Now I know why those guys are so geeked on that video. That's crazy. So this is in manual mode and I'm changing it myself to go underneath the, the bypass. And it's just, it's endless power, man. That's crazy. Maybe you can hear it when we go underneath here. Maybe we can hear it. <laughs> Did y'all hear the turbos? Oh 
my goodness. Oh man. All right, so now we back. All right, guys, so I had to collect myself. The, the video had ended because I lost memory, but we back. Y'all got all my reactions. I don't do any fake videos, bro. I'm just telling you, this car is amazing and it bring it full circle. And my buddy, I'ma just blame it on him. When y'all see me with one of the M44 eyes, you just, you just blame my friend for me getting one. Cause this thing is amazing, bro. I think me and my friend been, let me put it in the drive. You gotta hold it in. Hold it in, oh, squeeze you gotta hold it, it in and pull it back. Oh, okay. There you go. So, we're in now in eco, we, we're done. We're done with all the going down the road quick. So, what I will tell you about this vehicle is when you put it in that sport mode, you're then therefore adding performance to the car. The car, what, what happens is when you do performance modes inside of cars that have those options like comfort, eco, sport, auto, high, the reason why you hitting those different modes like sport mode is because it opens up the exhaust, it opens up the valves, it opens up everything inside of the car. So when you do that, it allows the car to perform perform differently than it would be if you were to just drive it in a normal eco mode like is what I had. You guys didn't get to see it, but we had some weirdo that was in front of us that was acting a fool. So when we pulled over in a whole parking lot with nothing in it and he decided it was a good idea to come park right behind us and, and yell at us and curse going around us. But that just show you how the world is, man. We still gonna be happy out here. Y'all make sure y'all leave me sub, like, and comments if you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed putting this video together. I hope it was what you guys wanted to hear about this vehicle. Um, Always just put my feeling of how I think a car should be, how it should feel, what it should do. And I know you guys know all the stuff like the little, it got the volume up and down, phone service here. It has all the cruise control and everything over here on this side. The heated steering wheel. You hear the turbos? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. This thing is nasty. So now one thing I have not had, I have an all-wheel drive a Honda Pilot. I love that truck and I'm ready to use it for this summer in the, in the snow. But what I will tell you, I have not owned a sports car with all-wheel drive and twin turbos. I will own one, and you guys will be there to see it. Um, but that's all for this video. Uh, I love you guys. God bless you guys. And once again, shout out to my pops who was no longer here with us. He died on uh, December 19th. God rest his soul. He's with Jesus now uh, in heaven, enjoying life, and not having to deal, deal with this world anymore. And... Uh, I just want you guys to hit me with a sub, like, and a comment if you guys enjoyed this video. I put my heart and soul into this when I do it. I do all my stuff, real, realistic reactions, and, and this is what you get, man. I, I'm excited. I love the car. I'm going to get me one. I love you guys. God bless y'all. Go side two T's. I'm out.